Hey everyone. Uh, my name is Arya. Um, this is my first kind of raw vlog. Um, I've tried to do something like this before, but um, I was never able to keep up, largely due to due, due to depression. Um, Yes, it takes a lot of energy, and I'm sure other vloggers and you know uh, channel creators are, you know, can can relate. And you know, in your first few videos, you know, trying to keep it up, you know, it, it takes a lot out of you. And um, this is not my first time doing this. I used to be a creator, or a vlogger, or whatever, uh, back in um, 2006 to 2008 or so. I used to do a vlog, um, got a few views, um, posted some mm, somewhat controversial stuff, I guess, at the time. Nothing, nothing too big. Sorry about the light. I mean, my, it's right, kind of sh shitty lighting in here. Just out here, having a smoke. Um, I just wanted to start, like, uh, hopefully those will just be 10 minutes. I'm just aiming for a quick, relatively quick videos. So I guess, I guess uh, what I'll start with is um, a, a little bit about me. Uh, today's my birthday. <laughs> Today, well, well, yesterday, February 7th, was my birthday, so I just turned 32. I know I don't look it, but uh, I know the lighting is still shitty regardless, but you know, I, uh, people tell me I look more like 26, 25, uh, which is nice. That's pretty cool, I guess. I guess part of it's due to my, uh, my kind of energy and my um, I guess the way I relate to people, I guess, I don't know, anyway, um, I'm really, uh, like, like many people, I'm terrible at talking about myself, but, um, 32, I'm from Vancouver, born and raised, uh, pretty much lived here <clears throat> my entire life, um, I, uh, I've always said that I don't really know who I am. I have a I have this really terrible memory, so I actually have trouble, you know, kind of trying to like some memory and like mental health issues, uh, where like I I don't really know where I am going in life, don't really know what I'm about exactly, but I what I can say is that I identify strongly as a transhumanist specifically a uh, holistic transhumanist it's something i kind of came up with um i would say I've, I've i would say i've always been a transhumanist um i did not discover transhumanism i just found the term of transhumanism and felt that it, i identified strongly with it um like <sighs> transhumanism is about uh, based in the idea that, you know, uh, well, humanism. Humanism is the idea that, you know, uh, everybody, uh, we should be, you know, co um, looking out for each other, uh, looking to um, improve ourselves and the human condition for the betterment of everybody, um, making sure that everybody is able to live to their fullest potential, uh, to be, be better, just, just to be better, people um, to improve our being um, so as a transhumanist I believe um, transhumanism uh, really uh, uh, emphasizes uh, science and technology to uh, to help uh, uh, guide mm, that's not guide but using the tools of science and technology we can uh, use uh, you can we can uh, 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 it would aid us in the advancement of our species and, you know, our efforts to, you know, become better people, become, you know, as, become better, as I said. Um, so science, well, and so it's just natural for humans to be, to be using science technology, as we are already, to improve ourselves. Uh, and so for me, um, transhumanism, uh, that uh, transhumanism is largely uh, 
largely in the mainstream focuses on uh, uh, life extension, longevity, uh, cryonics. Um, I, I'm, I'm personally a, a fan of mind, mind uploading, uh, which is being super popularized uh, in the mainstream right now, especially due to shows like Altered Carbon, which on Netflix, which is a fantastic, awesome show. I'm actually in the middle of the last episode right now. Um, and uh, mind uploading, I mean, I've been, um, and uh, 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 just, well, longevity is one, one part of transhumanism for me. For me, it's, uh, it's mainly an ideology to, uh, of, an ideal, uh, to, uh, on how to approach life and how to be, um, and conduct oneself. It's more, it's, a, in a sense, it's a standard of morality for me. Um, so how do I, how I practice it in my life. And, you know, I try to dedicate myself to improving others and, you know, improving, um, the world as, as we all try to, you know, say and do that. I'm a, I am, I'm, I am trying to find direct routes in order to, uh, you know, see you about making that happen. Um, so to that end, to that end, these past few years, uh, I've, uh, uh, I've been very passionate about uh, passionate about the transhumanist movement. Um, I'm now okay. I would have to admit that I'm not very well versed in philosophy or political ideology, um, but I mean, I've some of my ideas seem already. I don't, I want. I don't want. I hate feeling like I'm full of myself because, you know, I, I, I know I'm biased and, you know, I, I know I'm, I might sound crazy to some people, but I mean, it, it, big ideas, big, you know, big, even the craziest ideas, uh, biggest ideas are the, are, you know, uh, usually, uh, uh, started by people who sound that they sound like they're crazy right off the bat. And I totally accept that. I understand that I sound crazy to some people and that's totally normal. Um, I know that there are other people who agree with me and, um, you know, uh, big, you know, uh, uh, thinkers and, um, I know I sound like bullshit right now, but, <laughs> but whatever. Um, oh, my hair is all fucked up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, to that end, I've been, you know, trying to be as, uh, become more active and, in Canada, there doesn't appear to be any real transhumanist movement. I mean, there are the humanists of Canada. There is the, um, in BC, there's the Lifespan, Lifespan Society of BC. Uh, I know uh, uh, my friend uh, Andrew Kuss, I think I'm pronouncing his name properly, uh, in Eastern Canada. He's starting the Star Party of Canada, which is tr uh, transhumanist related, but... Um, uh, uh, it's not, there's, the focus of the Star Party, in my opinion, although very, very similar goals are, they're much more forward thinking than where we need to, where we need to be setting our sights on right now, in terms of, um, uh, transitioning from where we are now in terms of, uh, where jobs are starting to be replaced by automation to like the immediate like in two years time where are we gonna be who's who's gonna have jobs how are those jobs gonna be replaced like how are those automated jobs uh, gonna be supplemented with uh, jobs for people what are we gonna what are people gonna do for money to survive uh, and those are the kind of issues that I am concerned about very concerned about um, so I uh, a, a few years ago I tried to start the transhumanist party of Canada um, and, uh, you know, um, I, I, I admittedly have my own mental health issues, uh, uh, psychothymic depression, um, anxiety, um, like so many others these days, but, uh, I'm, you know, it's, it's part of who I am and the, the just got those, a growing, uh, community, community of people who understand or, and are aware or woke. I don't like to say that word, honestly, because... I have mixed feelings about it, but people who are aware, you know, of what's going on, at least, you know, it's, uh, uh, people are increasingly understanding, like, how, men how important mental health is and how it affects a person and their functioning. 
and I'm pretty high functioning, except, you know, when I have so little energy that I'm not <laughs> functioning, uh, which these past few days I've been a little um, cognitively, cognitively sluggish because of my um, uh, health. But um, aside from that, um, I do try to, you know, keep up and um, uh, I do try to keep up and uh, yeah, Dad Mouse, Dad Mouse is awesome. Um, random. <laughs> uh, and I'm pretty ADD as, as well, so I, I always have these ideas how to actually improve the world, um, how to actually directly affect uh, positive change in the world, how to actually, you know, um, connect with people, uh, pe the, um, you know, and, um, you know, see what I can do to help, you know, improve their life you know, their access to services that should be available to everybody. Um, and like the transhumanist movement has largely been colored by, uh, don't, pun not intended, <laughs> uh, largely colored by uh, the narrative of uh, the white man, uh, white male, usually rich, because like, as people say, only the rich could afford, um, you know, uh, long lifespans and good health. Um, I don't believe that's true. I think, I believe that everybody should have that, um, be, uh, uh, have that access, have that privilege. It should be a human right. I mean, uh, our, our rights as humans allow us to live, um, you know, the best quality of life that's possible. It is wrong to deny the, somebody the right to life. Um, a person, rather, the right to life, um, uh, 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 um, a person's only really aware when once they're born, so I, I am pro-choice, um, or at least, yeah, I'm definitely, uh, pro-choice, um, where did I, where was I going with that? I just said I was ADD. <laughs> anyway, um, that's kind of a, so, like, I'm very big on uh, using artificial intelligence to assist uh, people, especially where, um, like, education is severely lacking. There were many countries in the, in the, um, in um, developing countries that are teaching their children great, you know, basic knowledge skills, math skills and such, but not about, like, such critical thinking, like, for them to challenge the world around them like challenge challenge themselves challenge the the systems that they live under you know uh you know it's great to live in the world and you know and um uh care about your community but it's also another thing to want to see your community uh grow and prosper and you know actually try to figure out ways to make that happen um and i'm uh, all my life, I've been trying to do such things, trying to build such inclusive communities, um, because it matters a lot to me that people are included, especially as uh, someone my, like myself who has felt um, excluded uh, and, and alone for most of my life, um, just 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 by who I am. Um, I mean, I'm 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 transgender. Uh, um, Despite my voice, it is my natural voice. I care and don't care about my voice. Um, but regardless, it, it doesn't, you know, make me or myself uh, or my identity any less valid. I think it actually informs uh, my perspective more so than some other people. Um, I came from a different generation of trans, trans women um, where it, um, I came out when it was not accepted at all. I came out in 2007, 2008-ish, so it was a very different time for trans people at that time, and I was one of those people who was, who were out there and trying to fight for us and try to fight for our rights and our right to speak and our spaces. Anyway, this, this video is getting to be 15 minutes, so, um, I know it's not very interesting, but that's basically an intro to me. 
hope to do a lot more. Okay, this is two minutes. Okay, bye.